The journalists wrote and the drivers dreamed of the exciting prospect of 100 extra horsepower for the following year, coupled to a new chassis beginning to formulate in the mind of Colin Chapman. Renault's engine had already proved itself as racing's most powerful in a chassis built by the French firm. But what would it do in the back of a Lotus? We build a wooden mock-up of the chassis, which is a space model for putting all the new components against the Renault engine and their cooling system. And we can see just how well or otherwise it does fit against it. And um, we can work out pipe runs for the cooling, engine mounting systems, and how the bodywork's hopefully going to fit onto it. We can also work out difficult things on the drawing board, uh, like these support frames for the sides of the car, where it has, as it has to interlace between so many difficult components, it's much easier to do in the flesh than on the drawing board. The models have served their purpose. Now attention is focused on the finished car. All that has gone before can be considered a pregnancy. A racing car is born when the engine bursts into life for the first time. The first man to sit at the controls is not Elio De Angelis, but his faithful mechanic, Nigel Stepney. Well, it all seems to work. Just wait until we get some wheels on it, and then we'll really show them. Champagne time. Martin pops the cork and Elio practices champagne spraying in readiness for his first victory of the season. <laughs> After the bubbly, it is down to the last few laborious finishing touches. Making the body fit on snug and tight is usually the final task on a new racing car. It is something of an anti-climax after the excitement of the engine bursting into life but it has to be done. The new 93T's bodywork is soon fitting around the chassis like a glove. Finally, the nose section and the car is complete. There is a great deal at stake with this machine and the responsibility for its success rests with Peter War. Angelis drives a trifle gingerly out of the Paul Ricard pits. He knows that the cars, the teams and his own future are in his hands. 